Some people just won't shut up. Maybe they're nervous about something, so they talk. Maybe they think everyone wants to hear their every thought. Maybe they're not even aware they're talking so much. But talking too much can be a huge problem, especially in a meeting with a short time box, such as the Daily Scrum. Let's see what you can do about it. Hi, I'm Mike Cohn, and I'm the author of three best-selling books on Agile and Scrum. I help teams succeed with Agile, and I want to help you too. A common solution to an overly talkative team member is for someone to start a one-minute timer as each person begins to give their update during the Daily Scrum. This is okay, but I find it often forces a team to finish too quickly. Someone's update would often benefit from taking two or three minutes. That's discouraged, though, with a one-minute timer on each person. A Scrum Master, Kaylee, taught me our second technique. As each person gives an update, they hold a three kilogram, about six and a half pound, medicine ball straight out in front of them. The ball isn't very heavy, but holding it straight in front of you will get harder the longer you talk. What I love about this technique is that it gets harder the longer you go. That makes it highly effective. Here's a third tip for dealing with an overly talkative team member. Interrupt them, especially if you're the scrum master or coach. We hesitate to interrupt because we think that would be rude. Instead, what's rude is that person monopolizing the meeting with their soliloquy. If someone is truly rambling on, the scrum master, or really anyone on the team, needs to interrupt that person. Otherwise, it's rude to everyone else in the meeting. Here's a good way to interrupt politely. Tell the speaker that it seems like they have something more to say on this topic. Then add that everyone needs a chance to give their update within the prescribed 15-minute time box. Finally, offer to come back to the loquacious speaker after everyone has had a chance to share. Some teams use the well-known idea of a parking lot for such topics. Just announce that you're adding that item to the parking lot and we'll come back to it after everyone provides an update. Other teams get a little bit more into the agile spirit of things and will refer to the parking lot as the 16th minute. If you find it hard to interrupt someone, here's a technique that will help. Instead of actually interrupting the person, give team members a way of politely signaling the person that they've gone on too long. Think about Academy Award acceptance speeches. Talk too long and the orchestra starts playing. Keep talking and they play louder. A fun way to achieve the same effect is with Elmo, the Sesame Street character. Then use his name as an acronym, Enough, Let's Move On. If you're all in person, buy a stuffed Elmo and have it in your meeting room. Anyone can hold up the stuffed Elmo if they think someone is rambling. It works even better for video meetings. Encourage everyone to find their favorite Elmo background and pull it up when someone talks too long. Daily scrums are meant to be brisk, fast-paced meetings. I don't want a typical team to finish in five minutes. That's almost certainly too short for anything meaningful to have been discussed or shared. But I also don't want the meeting to go too long, and I certainly don't want one person to monopolize the conversation. How have you managed to prevent a team member from going on too long during your daily stand-ups? I'd love to hear from you in the comment section. If this video has been useful, click the like button. And if you're new to this channel, click subscribe so you don't miss out on future tips to help you succeed with Agile. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.